So hey guys, I have a video today that I really wanted to make. I'm really excited for it. And um, I don't know if you can see, but I just got my E Gerber My Light twos and the backboards, the fullbacks. I just got them in today, like literally five minutes ago. So I ordered a thousand um, fullbacks and I ordered a thousand um, My Light twos. And I'm going to go ahead and open one of these boxes to see if uh, the invoice is in there. And these boxes are heavy as fuck. So there's 500, there's a thousand backboards in here. And there's 500, um, oh my god, there's 500 uh, bags in each. And then I'm going to actually go live um, maybe on Instagram. I have three uh, short boxes and a fourth one, which the tripod is on right now, the gimbal um, of comic books that I'm going to swap out into these my lights. And um, <clears throat> I'll go into the specifics as to why I uh, decided to do what I do. And um, yeah, so let's see if uh, let's open one of these up. Got my trusted uh, knife here. Shout out to. Uh, yeah, so fortunately for me, the invoice is in the in the <laughs> full backs, right in the first box that I opened. So let's put this away. Let's get a marker here. I don't want to dox myself and release my uh, one, my identity, and two, my uh, address. So let's cross that out. And yeah, so. Here are the numbers, and um, they have this kind of like backboard kind of thing here. So I'm gonna try to use this box. I'm gonna actually get closer, and uh, I'm gonna move some things around here pretty quickly, and uh, we'll get on our way here. But I want to show you guys why I did what I did, and uh, I actually have a calculator here too. Which, um, so we turn this bad boy on, scientific calculator that I use for chemistry uh, and physics and calculus and stuff like that. So we have here after my address and my email, which I don't know if you guys have seen that or not, but here we go. So I ordered these maybe. Um, the 16th so five days later they got here the 16th right there and today is the 21st today's the 21st of september so they got here in five days and um, this is post covid um so as you can see here it, i got a thousand my light twos um, item number 700 M2, which is uh, seven inches wide. Um, current comic book size quantity a thousand, at a rate of 18.6 uh, cents a bag, totaling to 186 dollars per 1,000. And then I got uh, a thousand fullbacks, item number. 675 which is six inches six and three uh, quarters inch hence the 75 part you know three quarters i'm presuming and then um thousand of those again at 18.6 cents each for 186 dollars shipping combined was 85 dollars so that brings the total this would be like uh, 360, 72, something like that. 372, some shit like that. Plus the 85 brings the total to, yeah, around 450. Um, $450. And I'm going to go through the math as to why I did that. So if we look at um, the total, which was, you know, 457, uh, you know, with shipping. These My Light 2s last you forever, right? For ever. 
these my light twos will be here and um they were here before me they will be here after me after i have gone they will last a hundred years these my light twos right currently my books are in uh poly bags resealable poly bags from uh, bcw that's not it these are uh, resealable bags for slabs that's the wrong thing i think i might have uh, thrown them away thrown them away but um let me show you here i think i have some pre-made yeah so um you know they are in back and boards with the acid free only on one side not the back the acid free coat and uh you know a resealable bag the size and the size in the board that doesn't matter what matters here is that you know i'm gonna have to change these all these bags out i've probably spent up to date i have maybe um if you hear something uh, i apologize that's just my bunny he's kind of running around here he's free roam i have to date maybe 300 for like 400 comic books and i'm gonna keep collecting because i'm just a collector and i have probably spent about um maybe i don't know what are bcw bags going for like they're going for like a hundred like ten ten dollars for a hundred or something like that i don't know i'm pretty sure that's what it is let's just say it's ten dollars uh for a hundred bags right and then um actually let me look this up because this is probably important so let me pause this. okay so i whipped out the computer we're not gonna do this uh, you'll see why in a second and i whipped out the computer and we're going to check the price on BCW supplies right now. So comic book supplies, we go to comic book bags. And for 7 inch bags that are resealable, which is what I have. Um, and the reason why I do 7 inch and not current is because sometimes you'll get, I'll get a book like this that's a little thicker. Or volume, or like issue number one or issue, the last issue which is a little thicker. Um, or a notable issue like Spider-Man uh, 900 or something like that. And it's a little bit thicker and I don't want it to get squished in the 6 and 3 quarter inch bags or the 6 and 7 eighths, uh, 7 eighths bags. So I do the 7 inch bag so it has a little bit more room and I don't squish the corners or, or the comic book kind of uh, the, the spine gets kind of, you know, shifted or anything like that. So I get the 7 inch ones. But... Let's check um, the resealable bags for seven inches, which should be, where are they? Uh, maybe they're not even here. They're probably like on their side or something. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're around $10. I'm pretty sure. Um, so let's just go with the current size for uh, comic book bags. Let's say you don't want them resealable. Resealable is a little bit extra because it does have that um, peelable little plastic and you can reseal it and open it up, stuff like that. You don't have to use tape. So for 100 poly bags, for 100 bags, it is $10. Now let's look at some boards, right? Let's look at some boards probably a little bit similar so for current boards you're gonna you're gonna get a hundred boards for about sixteen dollars times a hundred boards right so if we do the the division here they did it for us right a thousand um, and then they tell you it's like almost 19 cents per item if we do the, div the division, it's going to come to be, I think, $0.10 cents for the uh, the boards. Yeah, so $0.10 cents for the boards. And 
it's gonna be like 16 cents for no it's 10 cents for the bags and 16 cents for the boards right so a total comic book for one book will run you 26 cents so about a quarter right for the my light twos Oh, I'm not sure if this is how you spell it. Let's just pretend that that's how you spell it. For the My Light 2s, with the board, and the board, you're looking at 18.186 times 2. You're looking at 37.2 cents, right? Now, let's do this a little bit more interesting let's make this a little more interesting um, let's open up this here let's see if this works so I'm gonna open up my notes and we're gonna do some uh, quick notes right so for we have established that there's just a lot going on right now, and that's fine. We have established that for the My Light 2s, let's do red and let's do thick. So for the M2s, with board and everything, it's gonna run us 37.2 cents. For ever per comic book for regular bag and boards it's going to run us let's just do bcw but it's the same thing with mostly other brands it's going to be around the same thing it's going to be around i'll round it down 25 cents for seven years every seven years i'll have to change out these bags right I'm going to live to be a hopefully, let's say I live for another 70 years. I will have to change these 10 times, just these books 10 times in my lifetime, right? I will have to actually spend 25 cents times 10 swaps. And that's going to be... Two dollars and fifty cents per comic. Not taking into account inflation because these prices will go up. Um, I could do it. I could do like two percent inflation. So I'm not going to do that. We at we're at two dollars and fifty cents in my lifetime per comic book. If I weren't, if I didn't buy any more comic books. Or let's say I bought, a, I had to swap a thousand comic books because I bought a thousand uh, My Light Twos. Remember? If I had to do this for a thousand books, <laughs> you're looking at two dollars and fifty cents times a thousand books. This is simple math, but I just want you to see. You're looking at two thousand five hundred dollars. In my lifetime for a thousand comic books and I right now I spend 457 the difference is an expenditure of two thousand and forty three dollars I have saved two thousand and forty three dollars and my comic books because of the handling when you switch the bags and the boards, if I do this 10 times, I'm going to nick them. I'm going to stress them out and stuff like that. This is how much money I have saved. For buying my light twos. So the expense right now seems big. But it's a no brainer in the long run. I end up saving $2,000. For 10 swaps in my lifetime of regular bags and boards as opposed to a thousand my light twos a thousand regular bags and boards i would end up saving around two thousand dollars 
shipping included. I'm not even accounting for the shipping of ordering a thousand BCW, which is like the same thing, almost like $80, it would be, you know, around $100. So that's the reason why I'm doing this. Now, you know, to, I'm gonna swap all these comic books out. It's gonna take me like hours. Um, so I'm gonna go live on my Instagram. If you haven't followed me, uh, I'm at uh, Spidey Comic Collector on Instagram. I'll leave it in the description below. But this is my video as to why I swapped uh, to my light twos. And I have, you know, some cool comics. I have older stuff like Third Appearance of Lizard. Nothing super grail looking stuff, but. I just want to preserve my stuff and everything that I'm going to buy in the future in my light twos. And if you have the money, I would recommend you do it. If you have, you have the money, I recommend you do it. I bought a collection, a volume, excuse me, not a collection. I bought a volume for the most recent volume um, before Spider-Man 29 Exodus. I bought Spider-Man 2099 uh, Smack to the Future or Smack to the Past or whatever it's called. And I bought that one. That one came out in like 2015, that volume did. And I swapped out the bags and the boards as soon as I got them. It's 2022, so that was like seven years ago, right? So as soon as I bought, I got the volume in hand, I swapped out the boards, the bags and the boards, and they were already yellow. There was already a discoloration. The plastic felt a little more uh, stretchy, a little thinner. So those, you know, regular, bags and boards they release gases and those can yellow your books and stuff like that but if you have the money it's worth the investment if you plan on having thousands and thousands of comic books yes it could get a little pricey but you save money in the long run and you save your books so yeah that's been this video i'll be live on my instagram which unfortunately you'll probably miss that by now but that's just how it goes subscribe and peace